that this call is now being recorded the objective of uh, this poem objective behind learning this poem is to learn how assumptions drive out drive our con uh, actions and responses what we assume we believe it to be true and uh, this poem as uh, as i had explained in the summary i told you that uh, it draws attention to the normal psychology of humans to always find fault with those around and turning a blind eye to the possibility of us also being at fault that that's what i had explained so we read the poem already i have explained but in case there are some words which you might want to know so those who are willing to read they may raise their hands sir can i read i don't have that feature that's why sorry i forgot some of you don't have but uh, okay. i'm not sure but still uh, did you update it when it would be there okay no problem you can do it later on today after 11 okay so okay. four i already read and reading let's read this poem to learn how assumptions drive our actions a woman was waiting at an airport one night with several long hours before her flight she hunted for a book in the airport shop bought a bag of cookies and found a place to drop she was engrossed in her book but happened to see that the man sitting beside her as a bold as could be grabbed a cookie or two from the bag in between which she tried to ignore to avoid a scene so she munched the cookies and watched the clock as the gus as the gutsy cookie thief damaged her stock mm. she was getting more irritated irritated by as the minutes ticked by thinking if i wasn't so nice i wouldn't black his black in his eyes with each cookie she took he took one two when one only was left she wondered what he would do okay amreen yes sir will you continue yes sir will you continue from here okay she boarded the plane and sank in her seat with a smile on his face and a nervous laugh He took the last cookie and broke it in half. He offered her half. As he ate the other, she snatched it from him and thought, "Oh, brother, this guy has some nerve, and he's also rude. Why he didn't even show any gratitude? She had never known where she had been so gallant and sighed with relief when her flight was called." She gathered her belongings and headed for the gate, refusing to look back at the thieving ingrate. She boarded the plane and sank in her seat, then sought her book, which was almost complete. As she read in her baggage, she gasped with surprise. There was a bag of cookies in front of her eyes. If mine is here, she moaned with despair. then then the other was his and he tried to share too late to apologize she realized with grief that she was the rude one the ingrate the thief okay very good so no time will read rabi abashri will you read Yes. Let's read this poem to learn how assumptions drive our actions. 
a woman was waiting at an airport one night with several long hours before her flight. She hunted for a book in the airport shop, bought a bag of cookies and found a place to drop. She was engrossed in her book but happened to see that the man sitting beside her, as bold as could be, grabbed a cookie or two from the bag in between, which she tried to ignore to avoid a scene. So she munched the cookies and watched the clock as the gusty cookie thief diminished her stock. She was getting more irritated as the minutes ticked by, thinking if I wasn't so nice, I would blacken his eye. With each cookie she took, he took one too. When only one was left, she wondered what he would do. With a smile on his face and a nervous laugh, he took the last cookie and broke it in half. He offered her half as she as as he ate the other, she snatched it from him and thought, Oh brother, this guy has some nerve and he is also rude. Why he didn't even show any gratitude? She had never known when she had been so galled and sighed with relief when her flight was called. She gathered her belongings and headed for the gate, refusing to look back at the thieving in grade. She boarded the plane and sank in her seat, then thought her then sought her book, which was almost complete. As she reached in her baggage, she gasped with surprise. There was a bag of cookies in front of her eyes. If mine is here, she mourned with despair. Then the other was his, and he tried to share. Too late to apologize, she realized with grief that she was the rude one, the ingrate, the thief. Okay. One second. So that way I had explained. Today we read the poem. So there was a woman who was waiting at an airport. She had to wait for her flight. It was delayed. And so just to pass her time, she looked for a book. She found it at the shop in the airport. She also got a bag of cookies so that she could pass her time by reading the book and munching the cookies. And she was so much uh, engrossed. See the word, skewer means she was so much involved in her book. She was so much taken up that uh, she was totally indulged reading the book. And there was a man who was sitting beside her. He was very bold. And uh, there was a bag of cookie in between both of these. So as what happened, as she was munching the cookies, she was taking cookies one by one. In the same way, the parallel action was being uh, done by that man. Means as the lady took one cookie, the man would also take one. Like they were uh, taking turns. So that was uh, what she didn't like. She called her gutsy cookie thief. Now gutsy again, the meaning is bold. Means he's so bold that he's kind of rude. Now, the person is, uh, see, if the person is bold, then it's a good quality. But boldness, if, it, uh, if it's like being rude, then it's not good. It, it becomes arrogance sometimes. So the lady thought that uh, the man is so rude that he's not even uh, asking for these cookies. He's not asking for the permission. And the stock what stock is referred to over here what is the word stock what does it mean
which stock is being talked about cookies cookies yes in that bag the cookies which were there is but obvious that if you eat something from the packet the stock will be reduced it will get on reducing so same way the the stock of cookies was being diminished means it was being reduced because both of them were taking turns and they were eating cookies so at least uh, after a few minutes it would get over so this lady was very irritated with the passage of time and what she thought that i would blacken his eye what does that mean now you should know very well being violent what does that mean blacken his eye i'm sure you can imagine what is it to hit a punch on his face and blacken his eye you understood that is what she thought that if it, if she would not be so nice that she would blacken his eye but that was just a thought thank god she didn't implement it right otherwise uh, that man would have suffered after all she was uh, smarter than him am i right or not wasn't she smarter than the man yes are you sure yes yes yes, yes. really yes so you are in the figure of that lady yes, yes. that's a human yes. figure and humans have misunderstandings but uh, thinking about but, violence is it uh, worth it she can do whatever she want okay so in short you are in favor of that lady right yes in uh, in spite of knowing that she had misunderstood him for a thief but i just say that misunderstanding happened at least once be in our favor rabi why 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 because you know the ending of the poem so i am telling you but then she realized with you no know, if she was not sure then she would not feel sad okay at least then you would not be in her favor so she thought of uh, hitting him a punch both of them were taking cookies turn by turn and now only one cookie was left what uh, what could be done now one cookie was left in that packet so that man smiled and when the last cookie was left what happened that uh, man laughed nervously that what would he do but still he laughed like he was a kind hearted man so the last cookie was taken by him and uh, he broke it in half like we share with our friends only one uh, piece of that pizza when it's uh, left you no know, we feel tempting but still we break it into half and we share with others or the person who is with us so this man broke it into half he shared the half the other half with her and the lady who was so smart according to you all she snatched it you know what is the meaning of snatching i hope so kich liya with that uh, arrogance that my packet of cookies and is offering me the half cookie so that way she snatched it in a very rude way and she thought that this guy has some nerve so according to her that guy was uh, very bold that he was so rude and he was so thankless ungrateful kind of person and he and she also thought that he was rude that 
the man isn't showing any gratitude so what is gratitude you know already but still it is a strong feeling of appreciation to someone or something which uh, or what they have done to help you and you show your gratitude that is thankfulness she was never so galled she was never so angry before and finally her flight arrived and she stood up took all her belongings headed for the gate for the final uh, checking and she didn't even turn back once according to her this man was a thief she didn't even look back at the thieving ingrate means that ungrateful person whom she considered as a thief she didn't even look back once so sank in her seat actually sank is the past tense of sink means to uh, drown inside the water but here sank in her seat is to uh, settle down and finally she took out her book she saw that the book was almost complete she has completed reading the book when she opened her bag she gasped with surprise means like you take short breaths uh, you are so surprised you your breathing uh, speed changes then she noticed in front of her eyes that the packet of cookies was as it is it was packed it was not opened then she moaned with despair she was so sad with that uh, sorrowful eyes she saw that the packet of cookies was as it is which was which belonged to her and the packet of cookies from which she allowed that man to share that cookies with actually that packet of cookies belonged to him but it was too late to apologize she has already boarded her flight the man also would have left the place where they were sitting and it was too late to reach out but finally she realized that she was at fault all this time she was thinking about the man being a thief in great ungrateful person but then she realized that she was the one who was the thief in great and rude with that man so is there any doubt no sir no no sir yes nina you ask something so i want uh, voting poll how many of you support the lady raise your hand hi hi whoever supports the lady they may raise your hand they may raise their hands okay only four hi now uh, put your hands down and those who support the man this man please raise your hands how many of you support the man Raise your hands, those who are in support of this man. See, I should also participate. Okay, leave it. Otherwise, you will say that it's cheating.
Who is this Khadija? Ma'am is asking. Now, whoever wants to give the answer will raise hand. Why did the lady buy a book and a bag of cookies? Only those who are willing to give the answers will raise hand. What, sir? First question. Who is willing to give the answer? Why did the lady buy a book and a bag of cookies? Yes, tell me, Rabia. The lady buy a bag of cookies and a book to pass her time. Okay. And we could also write along with that uh, that she had a wait of uh, several hours before her flight. Then. Why did the lady assume that the man was eating her cookies? So the lady assumed that the man was eating her cookies because she had just bought a bag of them and was engrossed in her book. So she was unaware that she hasn't taken out her packet. And she was so engrossed in her book that she thought that the bag of cookies was hers. And she hadn't even taken it out. She forgot that. Why did she consider the man rude? Question three. Yes, Rabia. She considered the man rude because he did not even show any gratitude. Yes, correct. For those, many of you have that raising hand feature already, so please raise your hand. What happened when there was only one cookie left? Sir, can I say? Hmm. When there was only one cookie, the man laughed and broke it in half. Yes. Offered the lady one half as he ate the other. Why do you think the man didn't object to the lady eating cookies from his packet? Why didn't he stop him? Why didn't he stop her? Kanani Sakina. Because she was kind hearted. Okay. She was kind hearted. He was kind hearted, you think? Anything else? Okay. So he not only did not mind sharing his uh, cookies with the lady, he did not mind it, but he did not uh, wish to make her feel bad by pointing out that she was eating his cookies, not hers. You know, it is very easy to point out someone's mistake, to make others feel guilty. But is it necessary all the time? to make others feel guilty. It's right that we should real, make them realize their mistake so that they won't repeat it the next time. But when it is about a petty issue, like it's not a big thing, it's not a big deal, like eating cookies, it is after all sharing food. So let it be, he thought. 
try to point out our mistake and to make our feel guilty but anyway uh time will make uh, the person feel guilty as the gutsy cookie thief diminished her stock so who is the gutsy cookie thief referred to here Can you raise that again, Sakina? Or is it raised already? All of those who are present, where are they? Where are they roaming? Not physically, but mentally. I would like to ask uh, Asa Zainab if she is uh, listening. Yes, sir. Then, would you be the first answer? Who is the Gatsi cookie thief referred to here? Okay, take your time. Ah, uh, yes. You are speaking. The lady. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Think about it once again. What is that? Yes, sir. Give me the first answer. Yes, sir. The lady was the guest cookie to refer to her. No, sorry. I would like someone to give the correct answer. Amiri Fatima. Ma'am, sorry, sir. The man was to see Okay, so the Gatsi cookie thief is the man at the airport eating one cookie after another from what the lady assumed to be her bag of cookies. What stock did the thief diminish? Lakhani Mahek. The stock. The stock of cookie did the thief diminish. Okay. Who turned out to be the real cookie thief in the end, Amreen? Sakina. The woman. Won't you write the whole sentence in the exam? The lady turned out. To the be the real. Turned out. Uh, uh, the lady turned out to be the real cookie thief in the end. Okay. Next. Thinking, if I wasn't so nice, I would blacken his eye. Who does the pronoun I refer to here? Rabia. The pronoun I refers to the lady. Yes. I refers to the lady at the airport. What do the words blacken his eye mean? Modesa, would you? Yes, sir. To be. Blacken his eye. What does it mean? Like in his eyes. Yes. Sir, I don't know. 
anyone i just explained it can i yes sure to blacken his eyes means to give a punch yes punch him in the eye and because of that if you punch someone that will leave a black bruise what is funny about the words the speaker says when the lady says these words what is funny about it what is uh, irony sakina if i wasn't so nice is funny about the word the speaker says uh, no it's not about the words means the words that she speak if i wasn't so nice i would black on his eye so what is the thing that is contradictory that is contradiction to her uh, thoughts it is ironical see what is funny is that the speaker is eating the man's cookies speaker means that lady she is eating the man's cookies if anyone deserves a black eye it is her not that man but the man never thought of uh, blackening her eyes so that is funny what is that in hindi ulta chor kotwal ko date you might have heard yes yes something like that he offered her half as he ate the other what did the man offer the lady silk or uh, dairy milk that is the same in cat what did he offer what is that yes sir you raise your hand so i asked you tanzil the man offer cookie to the cookie to the lady okay the man offered the lady half of the last cookie how did she react she said thank you so much i was so hungry you gave me half of the cookie thanks a lot what did she say how did she react yes rabia shri she snatched the cookie from the man yes why did she react so now this is a bit uh, longer what is that would you yes sir why did she react so why did she snatch it from him because because the lady think that the, uh, the man eat all the cookies uh, which i brought from kukuman okay uh so 
that is what she thinks but that was her uh, misconception right yes she was uh, at fault but still you are in her favor or not yes sir we are in her favor aapki suit to ek hi jagah pe atki hui hai in her favor in her favor in her favor so i want you to change your uh, this i won't i won't i won't i won't okay she felt uh, he had no manners at all offering her cookies that belonged to her as she mistakenly believed and not thanking her at all for all those uh, sorry for uh, for at all for those he was waiting she was actually waiting for uh, for the man to tell her thank you but it didn't happen and still you are all in her favor because she did not knew no but is it that uh, man's mistake that she, uh, she did not uh, know is that women woman's mistake that she did not of know of course See, no in her book it was, her, it was her, her misunderstanding because she was reading a book and anyone can get involved in the book i am not against uh, reading the books i am not saying that you are against reading the book i am just saying that she was involved in her book so so she did not knew then that's not her mistake that's not anyone's mistake that's just the situation then how could you be in her favor you should say that uh, you are neutral you are in no one's favor then why are you in man's favor no even i am neutral i just wanted to ask you you raised your hand and then you said then yeah, they will I, say that i am doing it you are changing you the are sides right. again and again wow wow maybe then that man would feel alone lonely so i raised then you know that man Okay, so he will say you that I am feeling lonely. You did not raise hand for me. Anything? Yes, of course. Then why did you raise hand for that lady? Even she will not know that uh, we are uh, like uh, voting for these two. They are just just. You started the voting. You started yes, the voting. Yes, I want uh, to create some kind of hype and uh, also. to know that we and should see, not and see this time you have to accept that you only reveal the secret what i only reveal the secret of the poem yes i did uh, it was a poem so Why? i thought let me explain the summary so i did but in and the last lesson time you I... did not let me yes next chapter is one of the most interesting chapters of your textbook Yes. Blackwood House. Please don't, read. Please don't read it. I have read it. It's very scary, and some of you won't uh, no, get a good no. view for a day or two. It's not scary. Please let them uh, also understand. You have read it, so you know. And this poem that I have read several times. I like this poem a lot. The cookie thief. Yes. Okay. So anyway, it was just uh, kind of fun.